What is up, all my beautiful legends? I hope you guys are having a great day and happy whatever day this is dropping. Uh, I'm recording this in the morning before I head out to anywhere. I gotta go drop off a couple packages and then I'm going to my local LCS where they have like 60,000 comic books they put out like a week ago. I dug a few books for like 20 minutes a couple days ago when they first opened but I haven't had time with work. So today's my first day off. So I'm gonna head there now. And then after we get fi finished with that, you're gonna see some footage of me digging. And then hopefully we can find some cool books. Like I said, it's a $2 sale with a ton of back issues. So I'm not looking for anything specifically, but hopefully we can find some books for their Heroes Con to get signed. And uh, yeah, man, we're just gonna be hunting. So uh, gonna head to the post office and then I'm gonna hit there. And then uh, I'll catch you guys back when I finish up. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we find some great books.
change of clothes because it is actually the next day. I didn't have enough time once I got home from everything to sit down and film and I was just too tired. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. I'm still in vertical mode right now so it syncs up with the rest of the video. So hopefully that looks good. But as you could see, that was a lot of comics. 
So I know I probably missed something because I was there for like two hours and I didn't want to be there all day. Like I said, he said it was about 60,000 comic books and it's been set up for about a week and a half, two weeks now. So it's been pretty picked over and a lot of it was dollar bin fodder. I was there the very first day for like 15 minutes quickly digging and there's like 30 or 40 people there so I'm going to show that first part of the haul I did show it on my weekly live stream the Sunday sesh that I have live every Sunday at 6 p.m eastern standard time but not everybody catches that so I'm going to show you the total haul that I picked over there and you guys let me know what uh I think I did so I got each of these for two dollars and like I said I'm sure I missed some books so we're going to start it off with uh some Jurassic League so this is DC, uh, I picked this up, I had this series before, but I got rid of it and now it is optioned. So uh, I wanted to pick it up again, but my main thing when I'm out digging and stuff, especially before a con, I'm always looking for books to get signed. And Damian Warren Johnson's gonna be there and uh, uh, the writer for this book is also going to be there. So uh, I'm very excited to, uh, to see what's uh, gonna go on. It's been a while since I've seen this book. I remember how dope it is. But uh, we actually have issue number four as well. So sorry, I just, uh, if you haven't read this book, I do recommend reading it. Uh, it was great, it was a great series. It was just a great little mini series. And uh, yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. And I, hopefully they make some toys and stuff. So gonna get those both signed by Daniel Warren Johnson and uh, the other writer for the uh, book. And you know, it was just great, great to find those. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm trying to, these were a little bit out of order. So we're just gonna slide this one there, but boom! Uh, I don't collect Noctera, but I do collect Jenny Frizen covers now. I have officially become a Jenny Frizen fanboy after meeting her at GalaxyCon and uh, just really appreciating her art on a different level. But this is Noctera issue number four, and again, another book that I'm gonna get signed by Jenny Frizen. Uh, so this is a nice little glow-in-the-dark cover, one I see all the time, but I've never really picked it up, and I just wanted to have it, uh, Superman Blue. So this is uh, Superman issue number 123 with that glow-in-the-dark cover, you gotta love that. And uh, yeah, definitely an iconic cover. I know nothing about Superman Blue, I wasn't reading comics during this time. So yeah, just uh, happy to have it. And then we'll go on to the next one that will keep fitting the theme for the Heroes Con. That's kind of what this uh, first little part of the haul was. Um, one of my favorite, favorite stories and something that made me fall in love with Daniel Warren Johnson and that is Dual Powerbomb. And this is issue number three of Dual Powerbomb. I actually have the trade signed by him and remarked with Cobra Sun on it in the inside. So by Daniel Warren Johnson, but I did not have the floppies. So this is issue number three. And then I also got issue number two. And again, taking all those, all these to here was kind of get signed. And then I have issue number four. And then of course I had to pick up, this is the only floppy that I originally had. This is issue number seven. I do have this signed, but I will take this and get it signed again. And we'll probably do it as a giveaway in the future. Next, if you haven't uh, seen anything about my channel or what's going on with comics, Ghost Machine, man. It's all about the Ghost Machine hype. And I will always save these out of the dollar bins when I can see them. And they were covers I don't have. So here we got the 80 page giant issue number uh, one and uh, with that cover on it. I, I love that cover, it's the one I didn't have. I think this is the only one I didn't have. I have the blank, I have the red coat, I have the other ones. But yeah, man, love this stuff, man. If you haven't read Ghost Machine or are not reading Geiger, Red Coat, Rook, or you have read Junkyard Joe, you're missing out, man. Speaking of Geiger, boom, issue number two. This is uh, an issue, I have all the floppies of this, but I'm picking up the variant covers now. So now we have issue number two for a cover I didn't have, and then we have issue number three for a cover I didn't have. So these were what I was able to score the first day. I was happy with these, but then I went back, like I said yesterday, you saw it in the video, and these were the books I picked up from there. So a book I'm, I've never read or never really looked into, but uh, when they were doing all the 30th anniversary for Spawn covers, uh, he was crossing over with all the image books. And this is, uh, I'm not even sure which issue this is. I thought this was issue number seven. Um, no, I don't even know. It just says uh, established 1992. Yeah, this was for the Spawn, but you let me know. I'm not sure which uh, issue this is. So you guys let me know down in the comments, but we have that Spawn cover on there with Nakatera. So I had to grab that. And uh, for being a big Daniel Warren Johnson fan, there are uh, a couple books of his that he's wrote and draw that uh, I didn't know about. 
and this is one of them because he just recently released his uh, hardcover of this, but this is uh, Extremity, issue number 11. And after flipping through this, oh man, I need to buy the hardcover for this and get it signed and read it because this looks phenomenal. So I was happy to have this, another book that's going to Heroes Con with me. And then, you know, my girl, Lady Durs, uh, this lines up <laughs> very nicely with her last name. So we actually met this guy a couple of times. I was on hanging out with him on a Spine Kicks episode about a year and a half, two years ago, but this is Ted Sakura, and this is Bloom issue number three. Just met him as well as GalaxyCon. I backed him on Kickstarter on a few things, and I have a couple issues signed. I do have Bloom number one, but I didn't have issue number three. So boom, grab that. So these next couple books, you're gonna be, uh, gonna be kind of surprised to see me pick up, but uh, you know, X-Men 97, it's been great. It's been phenomenal. And uh, these covers kind of spoke to me. So I got X-Men Unlimited, that first collector's issue, issue number one, dope cover with uh, Cyclops Storm on there. And then you got Professor X in the background. And then I had picked up the Uncanny, this one's all beat to hell, but uh, I thought the cover was really cool. But this is the Uncanny X-Men 281. And then it has that dope wraparound cover on there. So I liked uh, Jean Grey Storm on there. So I picked it up and it's got a lot of pink and I'm a fan of the pink. One foil issue I've never picked up and didn't have. This is actually the Incredible Hawk 400th issue special. So again, like I said, I got all these for two bucks, but I picked that up and then it's got that cool ad for uh, the X-Men handheld on the back or the X-Men uh, board game on the back, but a nice little foily for the collection and uh, can't go wrong with that. Another uh, cover I picked up, like I said, was just kind of hunting for anything specific, just things that would catch my eye. And this was a dope Liefeld cover. And this is actually X-Force issue number three, Among Us Walks the Juggernaut. And then uh, convenient enough on that, you have the X-Men action figures from the original ones from Toy Biz. So I thought that lined up and then you have a great cover from Rob Liefeld. Next, I'm looking for the original I uh, forget which issue it is, uh, like 378 or 370 something, 370 something, I don't know, you let me know in the comments, but it's uh, when uh, Spider-Man, the Hulk, Ghost Rider, and Wolverine become the Fantastic Four, I'm looking for that issue because uh, it's a dope cover and I like it, but this is the new Fantastic Four versus the Fantastic Four, 374, so I like that as well, so suddenly, the Secret Defenders, I'm a fan of them, Secret Defenders as well, so happy to pick that up. And then we'll rush out of here so uh, we can keep this video a little shorter. It's already going along a little long, but we have uh, Uncanny Inhumans. I think this cover is dumb. I'm not sure who that character is, but uh, I am a fan of pink covers and uh, Scotty Young can't go wrong with that. And then save this one. Nice Alex Ross cover and I was flipping through it. I've never really checked one of these out, but man, the artwork is just absolutely phenomenal with the Silver Surfer in there like that. Ross is absolutely boss. And then we will finish it off with uh, Peach Momoko. I've said it before, it's like 50-50 with me. I'm not really a fan of her art unless it's certain covers. And uh, this one, I've seen it a couple times. It just speaks to me and it's my guy, Noel. So we got another King in Black issue number one with that Peach Momoko. So boom, there it is. You guys let me know how I did. Like I said, I got each one of these for two bucks. So uh, it was like 20, like 27, uh, 27 something, almost like 30 bucks tax, uh, roughly around there. So not too much, but uh, I got a nice little haul and at the end of the day, I'm happy to pick up some books to take to Heroes Con to get signed. So you guys let me know what, uh, down in the comments what you thought. Make sure you hit that pinned comment. I love you guys to death. All the support means the world to me. Just hanging out and being part of this community. It's what it's all about. And uh, please come hang out with me on my Sunday night session. It's tomorrow, 6 p.m. Homies are welcome. Got cover themes. Not sure what the cover theme's gonna be yet, but uh, stay tuned to all the Instagram group chats where I always share it out. So yeah, man, we're gonna wrap it up and get out of here before I kind of trail off. It's been a long day at work and then I had to get this video done and edited, but you know me, I like to keep it raw. I like to keep it unique and I like to keep it legendary. So, as always, you guys mean the world. Stay legendary, and again, I hope you guys find me.